Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm going to be talking about the last segment of the candles that I purchased from Goose Creek. And I'm kind of rushing this morning because my barn girl is going to be here to help me with the horses and everything. And so I'm thinking, okay, I can do this. So I just like, you know, didn't even fix my hair all the way and just threw on a little bit of makeup. And that's about as good as it's going to get for now. <laughs> but um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish these up for you. So it kind of gives you an idea. I'm also going to be talking about if you can still get these candles because nobody wants to talk about a candle that they can't get anymore, right? All right, now I did pull it up on my screen. I'm going to go ahead and start with Biking Trail. And it looks like Biking Trail is available. And guess what? Today is the last day of June. It's June 30th. This one is $9.99. So that beats the price that I paid, which I paid $11.99 for these candles. I know they were on sale, I think, at one point for $8.99, I think last week or two weeks ago. Yeah, but it's all good. Today they are $9.99, at least for this one. And this is the scent notes, but I'm going to smell it really quick for you if I can get a memory on it. This one's really green and fresh, and I really, really, really like this one. So that is a biking trail. I just picked up a candle from Bath and Body Works called Fresh Bamboo online. And I really love this one, love that one. So if you like Fresh Bamboo from Bath and Body Works, you might really like this one. So let's see what the scent notes are. Um, fresh air, mint leaf, eucalyptus, fir needles, and summer blooms. So definitely the eucalyptus, fir needles, fresh air. There is a hint of mint in this one. It is so nice, so nice. So yeah, if you like green scents, Biking Trail is for you. I've noticed that they've touched on almost every scent variety, scent category. All right, so the next one is, let me look up the next one for you. All right, the next one I want to talk about is Fireside S'mores. And this one's available, and it's also $9.99. Um, it's graham crackers, milk chocolate, fluffy marshmallows, and vanilla bean. And I have smelled this one before. In fact, I've smelled all of these. This one is definitely a s'more, heavy on the chocolate. And it seems to be the same chocolate that is in Canteen Hot Cocoa. So this is just definitely s'mores. Um, there's no doubt about it. I can definitely smell this. This smells absolutely delicious. So that is Fireside S'mores. The next one I want to talk about is Forest Pine Trees. Look at that. And by the way, I love the packaging on these. It has kind of a woodland, campy vibe about this whole collection, and I really like that. Now, this one is very much a pine tree scent, an outdoorsy, you're in the woods, like you are in the thick of the woods, but there's different kind of trees. Yeah, there's not like just basically conifers, which are like the evergreen trees. There's also the leafy trees and I can smell the leafy trees with a little bit of like there's almost like you can smell the undergrowth that's growing around the trees like there's some little bushes with little green berries all of that is just around maybe there's a few trees that are down on the ground I mean you can really smell the foliage the pine needles that are on the ground as you're walking through as you're crunching through the trees this is what it smells like to me. So let me look up the scent notes. All right, this one's available as well, $9.99. And also when you look up the scent notes on these and you go to the Goose Creek website, I really love their colorful pictures and scent notes that they put up for you. I just wish that they would put them on the jar, but they don't. Um, okay, this one is forest pine, balsam, green leaves, eucalyptus and cedar. The eucalyptus was a surprising element. 
because I didn't think that that was what I was smelling, but it really is what I'm smelling. So yeah, I like this one. The cedar and the green leaves are definitely there. The balsam, the forest pine, yeah, all of those elements are there. This is just a really nice candle. But to me, I also smell like the foliage and everything like that that's on the ground. Maybe even the dirt. Yeah, this is really, really nice. It's a different take on forest pine trees. Just FYI, or on pine. Yeah, because the foliage, the greenery, everything kind of gives it a different mix. Much better than Cabin Getaway. Cabin Getaway, I did not care for. But this one, whatever they did with this is great. All right, now I just have three more to talk about. I have Gone Camping. This is kind of like, I think, the same packaging almost as Campfire Stories. I almost got this one confused. Actually, it was called Stories by the Campfire. So the packaging on Stories by the Campfire and Gone Camping, I, I guess they are different. But right now I'm talking about Gone Camping. Okay. This is the one that kind of has a smoky element about it. This is the one I think that has patchouli in it. And patchouli and kind of like an earthy, earthy, woodsy note about it. So let me look this one up really quick. All right, this one is available. Woohoo! And it is crackling cedar wood, amber, musk, white woods, bergamot, and soft patchouli. So I definitely get the woods and the soft patchouli and possibly even the, even the cedar wood. And I guess when they mean by crackling, maybe the cedar wood is dry and you can kind of smell airflow going through it. Yes, that's definitely there, but it's not a heavy cedar, which I appreciate. And the patchouli and everything just resonates so perfectly around this one. So this is kind of also kind of woodsy scent. This is more woodsy where the forest pine trees is woodsy but also earthy. So this one's a little bit more earthier than this one. This one's a little bit more kind of a smoky woodsy. This is kind of like an earthy woodsy. So that will help me remember. All right, and then I'm gonna talk about Skillet Blueberry Cobbler. Look at this, you guys. Yeah, this one, oh my goodness. Definitely the blueberries, you get the batter. You even get the smell of the cast iron that it's cooking in. But it hasn't started to cook yet. It has just barely gone into the pan. It's not a real heavy smoky smell. It smells really, really good. Oh man, the blueberries, <laughs> they're making my mouth water. I love this. Look at the packaging on this, you guys. It's in the pan. Looks like they got a little heat to it. So yeah, isn't that nice? I love that. Okay, let me look up the scent notes. Okay, this one is available. Woohoo! $9.99. Baked cobbler, warm blueberries, melted butter, vanilla ice cream, and sugar. Yeah, I can smell like the vanilla ice cream. There is a vanilla presence. But I would say the blueberries are more prominent in this one. But it's so good with the sugar. It tones down the tartness of the blueberry. So it's actually very, very nice. I like that. I like this one a lot. I can't wait to burn that one. Or chop. I don't know yet. All right, the next one I'm going to talk about, and it is my last one. And I actually started to burn this one, and it is Slow Moonlit Slow Dance. There it is. I love the packaging. It's got kind of a midnight blue or a cobalt blue. Looks like we have a Jeep next to the campfire. We got a crescent moon. You guys, this one is beautiful. And also, it burns down quite well. See, it's not even murky, and we are at the halfway point. Um, you guys, this is gorgeous. It has like an amber romance, amber musk. Um, there is also a heavy presence of sandalwood here, so you have to like all of those elements. 
let me look it up for you. Now watch, there's no amber in it, but let me look it up really quick. All right, this one is available. And my stomach just growled. <laughs> I am ready for breakfast. All right, it's vanilla whiskey, toasted marshmallow, warm sandalwood, and cedar wood and amber. So yeah, I definitely picked up on the amber, the sandalwood. Um, the toasted marshmallow? Yeah, I guess that is in there. I guess that's what's causing a little bit of the, also a, a kind of an outdoorsy vibe. There is a toasted marshmallow here, but I didn't pick up on it at first. The sandalwood is more is stronger, I think. So I, at first, a cold sniff, but even when I'm burning it, I don't really know if I can pick up on the toasted marshmallow, but maybe that's what makes it so appealing to me. It brings it, it gives it that sweet side and I like sweet things. So yeah, isn't that amazing where your brain knows that you like it, but you don't know why you like it, you know? So yeah, that toasted marshmallow is there. I don't know about the vanilla whiskey, maybe. Yeah, you know, yeah, that is there. It is, oh my gosh, okay. So yeah, so that is Moonlit Slow Dance. Um, strength and throw on this one is about an eight, you guys, seriously. If you have any warmers going on in your house while you're burning this candle or in the area that you're burning it, you might just have to let it, you know, have its presence made known because it will, it will drown out everything else. <clears throat> so yeah, overall, I'm really impressed with this set of candles. There's only one here that I, that my nose disagrees with seriously. So I'm excited about that because I went out on a limb, you know, I paid pretty much $12 a candle, which shame on me, but oh well, it is what it is. It's still 50% off or more of the regular candle price. So I hope you enjoyed this series. I'm going to be putting part one and part two and the links down below, but actually if you go back like Two videos you'll find me because I'm, I'm doing these in order so you guys take care have a great weekend um, for those of you up in Canada happy Canada Day um, and for those of you down here in the States happy Independence Day and if you live in other countries well I want you guys to have all a happy day wherever day whatever day you celebrate or whatever it is you're doing maybe it's winter for you right now um, so anyway, you guys take care. Bye. Hey everybody. So this is me with my fancy editing skills. Um, I'm going to talk about the 13th candle that I bought because I didn't, I didn't tell you what my 13th candle was. I believe I, I did not. So I can't remember. Um, canteen hot cocoa. This is the 13th one that I picked up. I just love this one. So I do have, this is the one that I have a double of. Um, yeah, I just absolutely love this scent. It's just wonderful. It has the most rich chocolatey scent. I think I talked about this one in the first video. So anyway, yeah. So you guys take care and um, I'll be talking to you soon.